Today we're gonna to check out how to make this refracted glass effect here in After Effects. All right, so I'm gonna start with a new composition and I'm gonna go with 1080p, 29 frame per second, duration six seconds, black background, and click OK. First here I'm gonna go and right click, go to new, and I'm gonna select solid, rename it as background, and make sure that the color is black. Click OK and click OK. Next, we're gonna create that blur shape. So I'm gonna go and click somewhere here first. And let's go to the rectangle, long click on it, and I'm gonna go and select the ellipse tool. Now here we're gonna need the fill only. So I'm gonna click on the stroke, I'm gonna click on the none, click OK. And let's click on the fill. Let's go and select the solid color and click OK. And I'm gonna go with white, click OK. And I'm planning to create an oval like this. Now let's go to the effects and presets, search for gradient ramp. Drag and drop the gradient ramp on the shape layer. I'm also going to rename it as blur shape. Now let's go up to the gradient ramp and I'm going to change the linear ramp to a radial ramp. And make sure to click on the title on the gradient ramp title. It's very important. And here if I'm going to go to the artboard and check this out, we got one circle here at the top and another at the bottom. So all you need to do is just drag these in. So it's gonna look something like this. Make sure to arrange it however you like. I'm gonna place them something like this. Next, I'm gonna search for Gaussian Blur. I drag and drop the Gaussian under the gradient ramp. And I'm gonna increase the blurriness to 120. And make sure to uncheck Repeat Edge Pixels. Great. Now let's go to the layers. Right click here, go to New. Select Adjustment Layer. I'm gonna rename this as Gradient. And let's go to effects and presets, search for colorama. Drag and drop the colorama on the gradient layer. And here I'm gonna go to the output cycle, open it up. And here you can modify the colors. I'm gonna double click on the red and I'm gonna change it to black, click OK. And then here at the yellow, I'm gonna add a purple, something like this, click OK. Now I don't need the green. I'm gonna drag it until it's gonna disappear. And I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna go with another purple. This is gonna be like a lighter version. And I'm gonna go to this blue. This is gonna be the orange. Click OK. And the other one, this pink, I'm gonna make it yellow. And I'm gonna bring the yellow all the way up. And I'm gonna press and hold shift so it's gonna snap it like that. And I'm gonna correct the handles here. I'm also gonna duplicate this blur shape. I'm gonna press Ctrl D and I'm gonna select the bottom one. And here I'm gonna increase the Gaussian blur even more. And about least we're gonna create that refraction, but first we're gonna collapse this and make sure to uncheck every layer. So I'm gonna click somewhere here. Now let's go to the pen tool. Let's select the pen tool and I'm gonna go to the fill, click on the fill, click on the none, click OK. And let's go to the stroke. We're gonna activate the stroke solid color click OK. And with the stroke thickness, I'm going to go somewhere around 50 at the moment. And I'm going to go here, press and hold shift and click. And now let's go to effects and presets, search for wave warp and drag and drop the wave warp on the shape layer. I'm also going to rename it refraction. So let's go here to the settings. We've got the wave type. I'm going to change it to on circle. And here you can increase the wave height. And I'm also going to increase the wave width. And you can see if I zoom in, it is going to start bending this area. I'm also going to increase the stroke thickness a little bit more. And if I place it, the main point is that the stroke line is going to be right in the middle of this curvature here. So it has to look something like this. I'm also going to need to decrease the wave speed and decrease it to zero. And then let's go here to the effects and we're going to need to activate the adjustment layer. Click on it. Okay, so it's gonna start looking like this, but we're gonna need to arrange it a little bit better. So I'm also gonna go to the wave width and increase it more, and I'm gonna make it bigger. Make sure that this line is perfectly in the center of the stroke. So I also can move this around, and we're gonna need to move this at the left side. And first, I'm gonna uncheck this effect, so you only can see the stroke. I'm gonna position it somewhere here, press and hold shift, and I'm gonna put it something like this. So it should go something like this. Now let's open up the refraction layer. We're gonna go here to the add and let's go and select the repeater. So this is gonna create like copies of this. We're gonna go here to the repeater one, open it up. And here we got the copies. I'm gonna increase the copies, make sure to fill up the page. And as you can see at the right side, this bending is not aligning correctly. 
So what we're going to do is go here to the transform repeater, open it up, and we're going to go here to the position and we're going to need to modify the position. We're going to, need to increase or decrease the value until it's going to hit the center part. So here is almost there. I'm going to go with 113, 113.5. There you go. And now we can go and activate the adjustment layer. Now if you don't have this option, you can go here to the toggle switch, click on the toggle switch, and it's going to appear or disappear. And check this out. This is how the effect looks like. I got to collapse the layer. So if I move around these blurs, I'm going to select both of them. You can see it is going to create this really cool refraction. And that's how I make this a refraction effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.